Hey guys, it's Lobby Designs here, and um, uh, I'm actually uh, rendering something at the moment, so that's why I, um, I'm doing it. I'm doing a really big project. Um, that's why I'm putting out a video in a little while. Uh, all my time has just been going into that and rendering. Rendering is actually really pissing me off. So, um, so yeah. Uh, but I thought I'd just try and squeeze out a, um, a tutorial. Uh, I'll just chuck the uh, the render settings. I dislike. I don't like the uh, the grey bars, they really piss me off. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll just be talking about like camera uh, settings and movements and stuff. Um, uh, basically what I did in the uh, Logic Network intro. Um, so yeah, here it, uh, here it is I guess. Um, yeah, um, alrighty, so basically what uh, what it is, instead of just having a, a simple camera, go into scene, and oh, instead of just having a camera, chunking it on keyframe, Popping over here, keyframing it, and then just playing it. You can see that uh, if we actually go out, you'll see that this. Um, that, so that's the uh, that's the kind of animation curve. I guess you can call it that. Uh, if we go to select dots, actually, actually, don't want. Yeah. So it's a pretty. It's a pretty. Um, it's a. Uh, it's pretty bad. I guess camera style, and it kind of looks like it goes in and then out, like it goes in and it turns, and there's a set target somewhere. Um, but I'll just be showing you how you can, can control the camera and do stuff like that. So to start off, we'll just head over into here. We'll start off with a uh, an, an arc, and we'll rotate that 90 degrees, and then drag it up, make it a tad bigger. And then we'll just get a little bit of text. All right, hang on, hang on. Just checking hello. Alright, so now you can see that that's up a bit, and now we'll just get a, a camera in, and then we'll chuck some tags on here. So we'll align to spline, send for the tag, and then target. Now we'll just get a little cube. I just use cubes because they're easy and stuff. We'll just make that super small. And now when you actually render this, you can't see that little cube. So, so yeah, I mean that's that's just basically it. Um, we'll we'll have to move it uh, so that it's centered on the um, on the hello. Uh, you could use the hello as an object, um, but I I just use cubes because say you want to animate the cubes another hello um, shit like that like when I use meshes because they're not obviously centered I use a cube I just had it animating going up I'll talk I'll talk about that later so now in the target just drag the cube uh, align to spline just drag in the arc now if we keyframe that holding uh, command and we keyframe that again we just go into here and then if we play that you see that there's a nice smooth camera effect. So there's no there's no jumps where it kind of goes like like that. Um, it's all just really clean shit like that. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the first thing I want to talk about. Um, uh, that that's basically that's all I do. Um, like that's what I use for camera animations. Um, but say you have like Say so you have the mode text. Uh, I'll chuck any. I got mode text. So I keep aiming that there. Oh, don't want to make. So I keep aiming that there, and then I go to 90 frames. I drag that up, and I have it turn shit load. And I keep aiming that. Right. So now, obviously. We play this. It's it's not it's not going to work. So I might have actually gone a bit overboard with the uh, with the turning, uh, but yeah. So we'll just delete this arc, and we'll get a helix. So get out of that, and then we'll rotate it just to ninety again, and we'll add a few.
it will actually make this but the end angle will add a few oh, um, height yeah, so that's what we really have to push up and put that up there for now I probably actually have too many spins um, but but yeah and now we'll animate the cube so we'll chuck a keyframe on the cube and then at 90 degrees we'll pull it up and chuck it over there oh. So I guess that's about right. Now I might actually change the oh no. and then the starting yeah. I'll just lower this a bit. And we'll change the high. Um, yep, so here we go. Now, if we get the spline and we drag the uh, helix in, if we just reset this, go to our camera. I uh, gotta change the keyframes on here. What is the targeting where is the key? Yep, yeah, alrighty. Now we'll just play this. Alright, so the cube didn't move. So we'll just have to we'll have to redo that cube again. Okay, I'll just chuck it there. That's fine. Now we'll just have to play again. That, that's actually. Uh, I'll just open my. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> gotta, gotta hide that. Um, right. So, yeah. this open and yeah, so you can see here I had three camera scenes I'll just group this group objects and uh, scene three now if I I'll delete that just for now because it'll take too long to load and stuff go into the camera for that you'll see that when it plays that was going on here. Um, no, it probably wasn't. So that was this camera. Yeah, so that was the starting animation node, which is when it went up, and then it did all that tricky stuff. And then I had this one where Yeah, so here. That was just a, a simple curve. And then I oh, that was the last animation. So on this one what I did was Check actually. The highest. Yeah, alrighty. So here we go. So what I had was basically just went around. Ah, okay. So I went around and then I made the, uh, the arc get bigger. And that's just how I got the uh, simple zoom out effect. And 
I guess that's all. Uh, I, I actually completely forgot how I did that. Um, but hope that helps, I guess. You can see that I used the cube again. As you can see when you render. Oh, and actually I have render settings on, so that'll... Oh, shit. Lagging lots. Um, and yeah. Uh, so, what I'm... Um, that's it. Yeah, so, I guess that's it. Uh, enjoy that. Have, uh, have a fun time with that easy thing. Because nobody likes those shitty camera animations where you've just keyframed it twice and it's doing all that weird stuff with where it auto it auto animates it and in the middle it's kind of, it's kind of like weird. And nobody likes that. Okay, so just uh, just just use splines and stuff. They don't show up in the renders. You can just use them as paths. Um, so yeah, in, uh, enjoy. Hope you uh, like, favorite, subscribe, and uh, check out my um, animations. Contact me if you want an intro. As I said, I am busy at the moment um, in lots of requests. Not doing it for free, sorry. Um, and yeah, cheers everyone. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>